Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Cakes by MK. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my super delicious and moist red velvet cake recipe. If you're new to my channel welcome and if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up below. Also a quick shout out to today's sponsor Squarespace. Stay tuned to learn more about them later on in this video. Apart from that let's get right into this red velvet cake. So the first step to making this red velvet cake is to cream together some softened unsalted butter along with some white granulated sugar and unflavoured vegetable oil. I'm using canola oil here but any unflavoured vegetable oil will be fine. I'll be using my hand mixer on a medium speed to cream up my mixture and you can do this in a stand mixer as well. As always full quantities to all the ingredients will be in the description box below. So about 3-4 to four minutes later your mixture should be much lighter and fluffier in consistency. And then the next step is to crack in one of your eggs, then mix it with your mixer for about 15 seconds or so, and then crack in your next egg and do the same thing. Now once that's mixed well, the next step is to add in your vanilla, white vinegar and your red liquid food colouring and then mix that together until it's well combined. Next I'm going to sift all my dry ingredients together in a separate bowl. You can do this beforehand as well. So first I've got my all purpose flour, cornstarch, salt, baking powder and then my cocoa powder. And then I'm just using a whisk to mix it all together. You can use a spoon or fork for this as well if you don't have a whisk. Now before I add in the rest of my ingredients, I'm just getting all the batter off of my attachments. And then I'm finishing off by adding half of my dry ingredients to my wet mixture, gently folding that through with a spatula until it's just combined. And then I'm going to add in my buttermilk at this stage. And then I'm going to fold that through until it's just combined. And then to finish off, I'm adding the rest of my dry ingredients and then just doing the same thing. So gently folding the mixture through until everything is just combined. You want to make sure that you don't overmix your batter. So once the batter is ready, I'm going to pour it into an 8 inch cake tin which I have coated with my homemade cake release to make sure my cake doesn't stick to my pan. It's really easy to make, I'll post a link below to that video if you want to check it out. And then once the batter is all in, I'm just giving my pan a little shake to distribute the batter evenly and then also a few bangs to get rid of any large air bubbles in my batter so that we don't have any holes when we come to cutting through our cake. And now this cake is going to go into the oven at 160 degrees celsius for about 55 minutes. Now while my cake is baking away in the oven, I'm going to quickly talk to you guys about today's sponsor Squarespace. So if you're not familiar with Squarespace, they're a really easy to use website builder and today I wanted to take a deep dive into what their templates offer. So if you scroll to the template section and choose the category you like, there's a whole bunch to choose from but I'm going to be choosing the food category, then a whole bunch of beautiful templates will come up and you can scroll through and choose which template you like. I'm going to choose this template here called Hester and if you click on view demo site it'll expand the site for you to take a closer look at to see whether the template is right for you. So the awesome thing about Squarespace is you can customize just about everything from the pictures to the fonts to the buttons so you can really create a beautiful site that works for you. Another great thing is that you can preview how your website looks on both tablets and mobile phones and adjust your design accordingly to make sure your customers are getting the best viewing experience regardless of what device they're using. So if you've seriously been considering, you know, starting up your own website, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to sign up, head to squarespace.com slash cakesbymk to receive 10% off your first Squarespace purchase. I'll post a link to that discount code below as well. Apart from that, let's go check on our red velvet cake. So the cake is out of the oven now, it smells amazing and it has a beautiful colour to it. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is turn it out onto my cake stand. You can also let it cool on a wire rack if you have one. Now my cake should just slide right out because of the cake release that I used and yep it's come out beautifully. But if you are having a bit of trouble then you can just run a knife around the edge of your cake tin to help release the sides of the cake from the tin and this should just help it come out a lot easier. So as you can see we have some gorgeous sides to this cake and now we're just going to let it completely cool before we come back and ice it. 
So it's been a couple of hours now, my cake is nice and cool and now we're going to ice it. So I'm using my flour buttercream icing today, also known as ermine buttercream, and I'm just doing some simple piping on the top of my cake using a large round tip nozzle. I really love this buttercream because it has a beautiful silky texture to it and it isn't too sweet either. I'll post a link below to a video I've done on this if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. Okay, and that's my cake all done, just keeping it really simple today and now we're ready to cut into it. So as you can see this cake has a beautiful crumb to it, it's super soft and moist and just full of flavour and that ermine buttercream is the perfect match for this cake. So that is basically how I create my red velvet cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe as well. Let me know in the comment section below if you try it out and what you think. But apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching Cakes by MK and I'll see you guys in the next video.